I want to dedicate this video to talk about six websites that every aspiring Salesforce developer should bookmark. Plus, there's even a seventh website that's a bonus that is not necessary to bookmark for learning purposes, but quite fun to do so. Stay with me, like this video, subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. First website that every Salesforce developer and especially aspiring Salesforce developer should bookmark is Stack Exchange Salesforce section. This Stack Exchange is home to some of the top Salesforce developers in the industry and they are super helpful to each other. You'd be surprised by how fast people respond to your questions. This is a community that is so helpful to each other. If I click on my name, we can see that I have 113 reputation points. As you get more reputation points, you get more privileges. But the next privilege is uh, once I get to 125, I'm able to vote down questions that I feel are non-helpful, non-productive. So it's, it's quite gamified pretty pretty fun makes me want to ask more good questions but I don't have any good questions to ask right now so apparently I've asked 16 questions so far I've given five answers so these are the stack exchange websites that I use besides Salesforce 2000 is the number of times people have viewed my posts now let's look at the next website which is the trailblazer community you can go to it by typing in success.salesforce.com in your browser then make sure to log in with your Salesforce credentials once you're done logging in click on collaboration and here there are three great places you can go first you can follow interesting topics see what topics are hot like admin topics trailblazer extra credit etc and then if you click on it you can see what's the latest discussion announcements around it look apparently there's a there was a lightning summer school great and you can meet other people who are also trying to become uh, lightning developers and sometimes when you complete these webinars or take part in them they give you discounts for Salesforce certifications. I hear it's about $75. The second great place here in the collaboration section is the groups. So I'm part of all these groups. Um, but there is a group that I just looked at prior to making this video. The Baltimore, Maryland Administrators Group. And I was just looking to see what's been the action here. And I see that Mike Bager has recently posted an opportunity for developers, senior developers, I think this stands for Business Salesforce Analysts and Technical Architects. And apparently he just recently joined Capgemini and is looking for, for more people who can join him as well. And here he posts his email address, phone number, so you can directly go look for find salesforce opportunities in these groups okay no need to apply or you can still apply through linkedin and indeed but this is an alternative channel how you can get to the decision makers so make sure to join some groups so you can so that you know about some, such great opportunities all right and the third great place here is this place called messages Basically, you can send a message to everyone who is registered in the Trailblazer community. So this is like Facebook Messenger, but this is just for Salesforce people. Hola. I sent him a message so make sure to use this if you want to reach certain decision makers this is great okay sometimes people reach out to me 
All right, so this was the collaboration section. Once again, three great places here are the topics. Follow some topics that interest you, like lightning, development, admin. Next is the groups. Make sure to join groups that are local to you, that sound interesting for you. And third is the messenger. Use it to reach decision makers. I think it's the third website that every aspiring Salesforce developer should bookmark. I'll give you a hint. It has to do with learning. It begins with T. Yes, you probably got it. Trailhead. You log in. You can use your Salesforce credentials. And as an aspiring developer, you probably want to focus on developer projects, on developer modules. So let's go to Trails and let's pick the developer track. And I suggest completing all the or the relevant beginner tasks and later on moving on to the intermediate ones and etc all right good luck with that make sure to bookmark trailhead fantastic fantastic website for free updated all the latest salesforce technology is here to learn for you the next website we'll look at might not be so intuitive but once i'll show you it'll make sense Okay, developer.salesforce.com. So this is the website that has documentation. A lot of everything Salesforce related has documentation and it's right here. For example, if you're looking for documentation on community, here it is, Lightning Communities Developer Guide. And here you can go step by step. So this is a very good website. This has all the developer documentation in one place. All right next website what do you think is website number five and this website is actually very u.s centric i feel it's very very u.s centric maybe also western europe first letter is r and second letter is e yes you probably got it reddit reddit's salesforce page and here there are a lot of community members 37 are online right now and it's 8 a.m I like this community because people talk about topics that are not on other com on any of the other resources I suggested so far. For example, people talk about um, career advice, about Salesforce bugs. Uh, for example, when there was the Salesforce Armageddon with the permission sets, when everything got reset, you might remember some about about three months ago. This is where all the latest updates were on that topic. Uh, I recently used it when I was struggling with Service Cloud. I couldn't understand why it's not working, why it was so ugly. And people told me that uh, using case comments in Service Cloud actually is a painful experience and people suggest me some other ways, some workarounds. All right. We, had, we just finished looking at number five. What's number six? What do you think is the sixth website that I highly recommend you bookmark? It begins with T, goes with R. Yes, it's Trailblazer. Trailblazer what? Trailblazer Community Group. So let's go here. All right. So I live close to Baltimore. I'll put in Baltimore and let's see what kind of groups are in Baltimore. There's a Maryland developers group and Mel Maryland administrators group. All right. And I can look at it, see what were the past meetings and join the group. Apparently not so much is happening in the Baltimore group. So I might go talk to the organizers, see if I can help them organize some meetings 
So don't be passive. Don't just take part in meetings. If you see there is lack of action, lack of, act, lack of activity, go help the community. Go organize meetings on topics that interest you. For example, on Lightning Web Community, on Einstein Bots, on Live Message. Okay, so that was the six websites that I highly recommend you bookmark. But there is also a bonus one that is not essential to bookmark, but it's quite fun for not educational purposes, but for fun, for relaxing purposes, okay? It's still relevant to Salesforce. I'll show it to you right now. Team Blind. To sign up for this website, you need to use your company email address. One of the interesting things here, probably the most interesting I think here is the section compensation. And here you can see how much people are making at different companies, at what levels, most viewed. So this page probably is one of the most famous pages on this blind website. Here someone says they started out at $12, $15, $30 an hour, and then their salary went from 90 to 100, 110 to 500, 580, 750, and probably around 1 million. And this person works at Jane Street Capital. It's amazing, right? Makes our Salesforce salaries look teeny weeny, but I think this is amazing. This is, I don't know how this is possible, but let's look for salaries at Salesforce itself. So popular keyword searches, uh, Salesforce is right here. These are discussions by people who actually work at these companies. You can see at which company that this the discourse is coming from. For example, this guy works at Microsoft. This guy works at MuleSoft. This guy works at Starbucks, Pinterest, etc. So interesting discussions, right? So I find this website is most interesting for the section on, on the compensation, yeah?